the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. This is a sidetrack, but like. Yeah. Did um <laughs> did you know you for people who don't know you co-created wrote and uh, directed um, uh, Chappelle show and obviously one of the most famous celebrated successful sketch shows of all time did you did you guys like riff to come up with sketches Is that, yeah that mostly that was a yeah big part like of it. that was uh we would it was more like like the real world I'm trying to think of like specific. The blind white supremacist thing. Oh my Christ! Was Chappelle's grandfather was blind and super light skinned. Uh -huh. So the day Martin Luther King got shot, he was on a bus, and he heard these black dudes like, like menacing a white dude, like, and then he realized it was him. <gasps> like, what the oh. fuck are you doing on this bus? Cracking did it, and he was like, "Oh, this dude's in trouble." He was like, "Oh, it's me." Oh, oh they're yelling at me. They're yelling at him because wow. he was light skinned, and he thought. Uh, so they thought he was white. Uh, so that was based. That was the basis of that. And then we just built out from there. Yeah, that has to be one of the, in my opinion, best comedy sketches of all time. So fucking yeah, it's funny. fucking awesome. Like Brilliant. it's a great sketch. Like yeah. there's yeah. just a bunch of really good jokes in it. Uh, and and it's you like used to be, idea. by the way, um, it was one of my, th I obviously didn't know you. Yeah. You were like an Easter egg in so many sketches. Yeah, but yeah, now yeah. thinking back, yeah. I haven't seen those my sketches. Head my, my, my head exploded. Your head explodes on that. Exploding. Yeah. My, one of my favorites was um, Black Gallagher. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And, or me and, and the, the crowd. But the volume is down. And you go, <laughs> pee on me, you black son of a bitch. Chappelle <laughs> <laughs> no, says pee on me. Yeah. <laughs> and I said smash some fruit, you black son of a bitch. Oh, that's what you said. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Pee on me. I think it was, and Chappelle said pee on me. Yeah, P.I. Um, you go, you black <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I laughed Smash so free. hard at that. I remember I was watching that with Sickler because that was that was back when it was something's gonna air and you gotta watch yeah. it. And we would we would like go back and like I feel like he caught that. He's like, did you hear what this guy said? And we would like Tivo rewind. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you had to work for it. Yeah, it was that was yeah. great. Um, yeah, that was like under like it was like yeah, mixed it low. Yeah, I mixed it nice and low. That was great. <laughs> um, yeah, like uh, the real world was a thing. Oh like my God, that was great we, too. That we, hit, Chappelle's friend had been on the second season, Dave Edwards, who was a comic. He was the one who yeah. like pulled the blanket and then got in trouble. Oh yeah, and I know, like Dave. Chappelle was on the phone with him when it happened. So like we'd always sort of thought about the real world as like the, they just make black dudes look bad, and then we figured like. We'll so did you first reverse. draft most of this stuff? Like, would you like hear like here's a version, and then you guys would? Uh, we no, we would like literally sit in a room together and we, type it up. Yeah, yeah. Like type, 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 type. Jesus you go. Christ. Type, 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 type. You go. Type. Wow. Like it wasn't like. Uh, I think people see it as like either Dave's the genius and I'm his typist, uh -huh. or I'm the like, or I'm like tell Dave what to do, and it's like, oh, or yeah. we're both funny. Yeah, I don't know. Could that yeah. be possible? No, yeah. not possible. One of you has to. Okay. Um, how did so, you guys? And at that point, are you guys like you guys were friends? And is that we, you, I work. I work. I met him when I worked at the door of the comedy club in, in New York, the Boston Comedy Club, like in the early '90s. I was going to school, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then I my brother's a comic, so I was working. I like got a job working the door. Did he show you the ropes, your brother? Like how? Not he basically like he would bring me around, but like in the eighties, yeah. in the late eighties, like so. The cool thing was like I knew a tell when he was an open micer. I knew. That's crazy. Oh my god! I mean, for real. I, how old are you? Sixty five? Yeah. I, basically, no. I was sixteen when I was like. That's crazy. When I was I was in high school and like knew a tell and Romano and all these guys that like were barely if making a living barely making a living like really i remember romano got fired from uh news radio joe replaced him yeah romano got fired and i remember thinking all of us were like how is ray gonna make a living right like he's got kids like and then but we were all like he's really fucking funny yeah so he like, pulled it together he figured it out yeah um, but, uh, but so I knew like me and Chappelle were the only young guys and Jay Moore, um, and like these guys, Red Johnny, the round guy, they were like, they were a comedy team. John DiMaggio does, uh, he's the voice of, uh, like a bunch of cartoons. Like he does, oh. like, he does like, uh, he was on uh, Futurama. He's like the robot, I think. Yeah. Um, so we were the only like young dudes <clears throat> and like me and Dave got along really well. And then I moved out here to write for like singled out on mtv and all that on nickelodeon mm -hmm. and, 
and then me and Chappelle were still always friends. We wrote Half Baked, uh, and then we sort of like drifted it for a second, and then because Half Baked was sort of a tanked, and then so wait, was that a tank? Because isn't it, it funny it, to be a part of something that I now know that's now like, a, like yeah, and it was like oh no, that fucked my career up. For yeah, years. it's so weird, right? Like I love that you guys all think it's this <laughs> fucking the, huge. Uh, the other one that's I mean like he's super successful, but like it, box office didn't do well was a. Uh, it, idiocracy the Mike oh, oh my fuck that's a brilliant shit. movie hey, shit but like you talk to people about yeah, idiocracy, idiocracy. Like, that let's... might be the funny it's my favorite movie <laughs> yeah they so like stopped funny. funding the movie yeah like he was fucked up like he wasn't going well like that was a disaster for him so but yeah, half Jesus. fake is like now oh, people love it yeah. yeah they love it man. yeah um but uh but yeah like they so a horrible box office horrible opened against titanic <gasps> oh shit uh golden eye Goodwill Hunting. Oh my God! Whoa. And something, and maybe Big Lebowski. <clears throat> oh my God! What I love about um, the movie business too is like people are really, you know, hopeful for box office and talk to you a certain way. And like, if your movie doesn't do well, they'll be like, "You're a piece of shit." You they, know, like, <laughs> like they literally look at you like you're your garbage. Yeah. I, I spe- cause I remember I went to. Again, I'm I'm gonna tell stories that make me sound like I'm a million years old. I went to the Bowfinger premiere. Yeah, and uh, and it was a Universal movie. Was later. It was like the same year as Happy. And the head of Universal looked at me like you're a fucking retarded piece of garbage. (laughs) And it was like I literally was like, all right, I'm never going to premiere again. I really haven't gone since. And uh, and it's just they it's this they act like they didn't have anything to do with it they act like right it's your they, fault it's totally. i would say it's like mission impossible where like if this fails there's no record they they yeah. act like they had they just divorced themselves completely wow. and uh and they and then the thing of like have do you guys ever have the thing where people act like they haven't met you yeah oh yeah yeah no, and you're totally. like i met i'm a fucking <laughs> all human beings are good at is remembering faces like yeah. the fact that you're acting like did we meet yeah that's, like that's... Sh- shut it yeah um and if I always like if someone I feel like they're gonna act like we didn't meet, yeah, I'll be like, hey man, we met. Oh, that's smart. Call you do out. That. Yeah, it's like uh, have you ever had now yeah. like somebody you're like, oh, I'm doing uh, whatever gig in uh, San Diego, and they're like, yeah. oh, who you uh, who you working with? Who you opening for? And you're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, really? Yeah, no, I'm not opening for anybody. Yeah, okay. um, some uh, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> the um, yeah, so that's how I knew Dave. So. He was, his career was fucked up after Half-Baked. I felt bad. Uh, like, they literally said on CNN, his career is over. What? From, from that movie? From the movie, yeah. The review said his career is over. And, like, his mom saw it. But I don't, I, I fucking. Don't bring anyone's mom. I don't know, the, de- don't <laughs> I don't know the details of it. But I feel like I saw some doc or something that said, I think before your guy's show, that he'd had like nine pilots or yeah, something. Yeah, oh yeah, he'd done like, well that was the thing, he kept doing like these fucking sitcoms. Because that was his production company, yeah, it was Pilot, Pilot Boy. Boy. Yeah, like, yeah. It, but it was called that from the beginning, which I think he knew, that uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of these fucking pilots. Yeah. And yeah. he did pilots, again, how old I am. He was doing a pilot, I remember him doing a pilot and me talking, and during the LA riots. What? Really? Yes. I almost got run over by a car during the LA riot. I was in New York, Dude. but he was here. He did and a pilot 25 years ago? Yeah, he did a pilot in 1992 or three. Jesus. 1992, yeah. How old is Chappelle? 45. Oh, my yeah. God. But he started when but he was I'm, 14. Yeah, I was like, I was in high school during the riots. Yeah. So I was like 10th grade or something. Yeah, he was, we were 9, 18. Jesus Christ. Uh, First of all, hold on. Just out of high you school. You use the hot one. The, but also, <laughs> I just wanted to say um, huh. that one of the most amazing, you know, I, I really don't get that um, wowed by like celebrity stories or someone someone's met. I'm like, that's cool. No, oh, really? You know, it's like. Yeah, I'm the I'm, same I'm way. trying to think like. But you've hung out with Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And I Aww. think that's that's pretty much the coolest. That's, it He's really the best, is right? the, like, when I met Obama, I wasn't nervous because I'd met Eddie Murphy. Mm. Do you know right. what I mean? Like, yeah. Obama. So Dude. me and Jabelle were at Eddie's house like three years ago or something. and uh, Shitty house? Oh, what a <laughs> piece of shit. Well, the, the first time I we went to his house was like 12 years ago. And, uh, well, we went to the, we went to Bubble Hill. We went to the Jersey one. Uh, I mean, I literally, I could just spend 20 minutes just talking about it. Sometimes me and Rock will just talk about how famous and great Eddie Murphy was. Dude. For like 
chunks like where we'll just stop and be like anybody in our age range yeah he is like, like you can't you so we were at eddie eddie's house and eddie he just smokes weed all the time eddie does yeah what he's are also, you i mean what do you he's got so much money right? he's so rich yeah and he's so Done it all. fucking funny and successful yeah yeah so and he's also one of the like there it's very hard to legit pull off very funny and cool like yeah. mystique yes. cool it doesn't like exist leather and like but he does. girls actually want to fuck him right and not because maybe yeah. he's fun it's not like he's no. funny it's because i want to fuck his his essence. I don't yeah. even care if he makes a joke. Oh, and yeah. he started early too, right? He Wasn't started he? when he was like 16 or yeah. 15 or something. God the, damn it. Uh, He's a bit of a natural. The greatest, this is how much of a natural he is. Yeah. Charlie told me one time when they were like five, they were watching TV and Eddie said, I'm going to be famous. And Charlie <laughs> said, what's famous? <laughs> That's how fucking like yeah. destined it was. Now the other greatest destiny Murphy story is so a psychic uh one of the Murphy family went to a psychic Tom oh, oh, oh sorry 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 that was the mistake one of the um do, you, do I need to wait for No 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 I was okay just... one of the uh one of the Murphy family in like the 60s went to a psychic and the psychic said someone in your bloodline is going to be world famous wow so that generation of Murphys all started taking tap dancing lessons nah. and Hilarious. singing lessons and like f like acting class and all this shit. And then one of their kids was Eddie. Wow. Yeah. Like, and then he was like, and then it was like, oh no 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 no. Like, so he came out like, like, re like he said watching TV. He's like, I'm gonna be on there. I'm gonna be famous. Does he? Does he still? Does he want to do movies still? I don't feel like he really. He does. did. Uh, he did Dolomite. That's coming out. Oh, that's coming out. And still. he's did, gonna do Coming to America too. That's right. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Again, that's definitely a perfect comedy film. Every time Coming that's to America 100%. is on, I yeah. have to watch it. No matter it, what I'm doing, they I filmed stop. it in 21 days. Are you is fucking that kidding me? Yeah, yeah, I saw a, that like film a is so it. well written and so funny. Everything and he, is a setup or a punch. It's like, so good. You know. Oh, him. he, the thing about Eddie is he's like, he, the story, as the story goes, like he may have written, I'm going to get you sucker. And was like, I'm, I don't want to do it. I'll throw it away. And Keenan was like, I'll do this shit. Yeah. Like that. I don't know if that's true or not, but, um, but, so the story I was going to tell about Eddie yeah, yeah, was yeah. we're at Eddie's house. And, uh, by the way, he's such a germaphobe. Everyone gets their own really? joint. Oh, so like, I don't smoke weed, but like Dave had his own joint. It, like you just get your own joint. Um, and uh, Eddie was like, yeah, man, Obama was real cool to me. And uh, and there's a picture of Obama meeting Eddie and Obama is like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, Obama's his age. Yeah, that's yeah. So true. Like, oh, like Eddie, Mur Eddie Murphy, you yeah. can't even can you can't contextualize how big and important he was. Yeah. You just can't. No. Like he's a he's a he's a he's a titan like you know what too and he was so relaxed what i loved about eddie he's so yes yeah, it's so like relaxed, and you can so see it on and it, 20 years old or whenever he did 21 delirious, he did delirious at 20 years old yeah you like see, now like, that you've veteran. done stand up that long right oh yeah. my god he's so relaxed and he's so calm and centered and he's having fun all the time like he's it's and just he owns Eddie's that world. and make like yeah. you just god you realize it. like this you know when you're really in your groove in stand up you like you own it, you know, yeah. like you're on stage and you're like, oh man, like this set is tight. Like people realize yeah. like, you know, this stuff and you're, and to even think that somebody at, could do it at 21 at that level. Oh my God. Yeah. I was the, the night at his house, we were like, me and Dave were just like fucking bug. We were literally bugging him. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, Eddie, do stand up. Dave <laughs> yeah. was literally like, might as well have gone like, come on, mister. Yeah. Like, yeah. come on, do stand. And, uh, and I was asking questions. He's like, you know, how long have you been doing stand up? And I was like, ah, like this is like, I guess four years ago. I was like, yeah, it's seven years. And he goes, oh, that's why you're asking me all these fucking questions. <laughs> and he's like, seven years I'd done uh, Delirious. And I was like, yeah, but that's, come on, man. Like, that's not even. What? That's not even. Seven like years thing. in. That's I did. not even a real. It's that crazy. can't judge. No. He might have done Raw by at seven. I don't even know. Because he was young. Yeah, I think he did Raw when he was like 24, 25. Yeah, so that, that would be seven that's cool. years. <laughs> that's cool. That'd be seven years. And he is um, just one of those um, prodigies. Very yeah, and he also, genius. here's the thing, he, he's so affected um, other stand-ups that you can see somebody, you could see Eddie now and be like, oh, 
feel like I've seen a bunch of these jokes. Yeah, you saw hundreds of people you saw all do the, their version. Yeah, of yeah. all the offspring. Yes. and that's well, and also prior. I mean, he's doing prior. Yeah. Uh, the the Eddie Eddie's he's so fucking good that I was talking when when uh, Cosby got sentenced. Um, uh, Chappelle and Rock call me back to back. Like both of them, s- fucking legitimately sad. Like sad sad yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah like i was sad like i felt bad for them do you know what i mean like yeah and uh rock like to was, see a hero yeah, yeah like yeah. i i i met bill cosby again this is how old i am at arsenio and um Damn, John. yeah you look yeah, good yeah, man. i know Jesus you look Christ. real good. thank you very much <laughs> You're 12. um and uh arsenio. at arsenio <laughs> And uh, he was an asshole. And I knew he, I could <laughs> really Cosby was a fucking, everybody has really? asshole. Oh, he was a fucking asshole. I never knew this shit. Nobody fucking told me. I knew he, was an he literally was like, and then the white ma- he goes, the Dutch man. And I was like, I'm not Dutch. And he's like, and he like stood by. I was like, mm-hmm. OK, mm-hmm. Um, but uh, he was racist. Against yeah, but like the one he's, white guy again. I, so he's talking Cos- to, to he was talking to me and he said the Dutch man and like in like, the green room or something in his dressing room. Yeah. And you're um, in there. Uh, with I was in there with Dave Edwards, and the, we were friends with this woman, Joy, who booked the show. We knew her through Dave. He's like, Mr. Dutchman. And the Dutchman came. Yeah. <laughs> um, the history. The, so, whatever. So, uh, so, so those guys both call me, both sad. And. Um, Here, wait. What do you think of this? <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. No. Pretty good. I'm proud of that. I feel bad for the people only listening. Yeah. Um, I, I thought you, guys, you were going to go fart. online. Uh, Check that one out. Enter promo code uh, to see Tom's yeah. face. Pudding pops. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, Rudy with the Theo and the pudding. Rock. Um, so, so those guys were both sad, and uh, and me and Rock were talking about about how good Cosby was, and he's like, he goes, uh, Cosby was so fucking good. He goes, everyone is doing a prior impression. I'm doing it. Dave's doing it. Eddie did it. Keenan, Damon, fucking and Kevin Hart. Everyone is doing a prior impression and no one even bothered doing a Cosby impression yeah. because they knew how good he was. Right. And then I was like, and also uh, nobody thought there was any pussy in it. Boy, were we wrong. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? Yeah. How, first how of all, this new you. blog that I'm writing about know, this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I throw you and that's how comedians, you know what I'm starting to realize? Like, People can't take the way comedians talk. No, no. no. They literally cannot. Like, we make that joke, and then at someone, a dummy goes, are you advocating <laughs> that Bill Cod, there was yeah, pussy? Yeah. Y- no, you but fucking dumbass. Do you even... think <laughs> surgeons talk fucking medical the whole time? Or do you think they go like, throw me the fucking mi- whatever they call hearts? Or whatever? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course.